was here. What up, sir? How you doing, sir? I'm good. Happy, good to see you, man. happy take Turkey Day to you, bro. Happy Turkey Day to you, Let's brother. get right to it, bro. You was on the R. Kelly Club. You, Keech Cole, Jay Holiday, Jay Holiday, mm -hmm. and Rob. Mr. Yeah. Robert Kelly. Mm -hmm. And now you're not on the R. Kelly. Tour. Now I am not on the R. Kelly tour. Why are you no longer on the tour? Alright, well, um, I, I spoke to, uh, I spoke to, um, who did I speak to about this yesterday? I spoke to a few people about this yesterday. I'm going to say everything today that I said yesterday, so it ain't no confusion. Um, they're telling me to say that, yeah, they're telling me to say that the, the PC term is that we couldn't reach a fair contractual agreement. Right. Which is, which is absolute BS. Because um, basically, I have my people in there fighting for stuff that uh, I honestly think I was supposed to be just given. For example, first show, Columbus, Columbus, Georgia. Right. Seven dressing rooms in the venue. This man took all seven dressing rooms. I couldn't get one dressing room. I got me, dancers, and a band. I can't get one dressing room. Seven dressing rooms? Seven dressing rooms. He took all of them. We had to go in there and fight so that me and my dancers and my band could get one dressing room. So they stuff you and your dress, you and your dancers in the van, all into one dressing room. Yeah, well, I, I got but the after you fought for it, and we got the little area. Um, it's a, it was a little area in the back that they curtained off for the dancers. Yeah. So the dancers had to dress behind the curtain. Yeah. Now. And, and we you, had to did fight your for that. Album just go platinum. Yeah, it did. Uh -huh. And your first album did what? Uh, three worldwide, I believe. Something three million like copies. Yeah, so yeah. you're a multi-platinum artist, singer, songwriter. And performer, and you had to fight for a dressing room. For a dressing room, okay. Wow. All right, that it don't stop there. It okay. don't stop there. Okay. okay. Um, I I live in Atlanta right now, so we in Atlanta, you know, rehearsing. They told us the the um, you know, the size of the stage and everything. So we set it up in a rehearsal studio, you know. So we rehearsing in the rehearsal studio. We don't need to, we don't need to see the stage, you know, because they were stripping off that. Then they offer for us to come down to Columbus, Georgia. Now, uh, from where we are to Columbus, that's like an hour and a half drive. They offer right. for us to come down. And rehearse on the stage. They said we'll give y'all four hours to rehearse on the stage. So all right. So all my people, we get, we all get up early. We all drive down there. Four hours. After two hours, they was like, y'all gotta get off stage because Mr. Kelly is coming in right now. Y'all gotta go. After two hours, that like now y'all offered us four, and y'all can kick us off after two. Why? Like what's 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 going on here? What's going on here? You can you can have four hours of rehearsal mm -hmm. time on the stage, but after two hours you gotta leave. Yeah. And you have to go because Mr. Kelly is coming. In. Yeah. So you can't hang out and say, hey, yo, what's up? No. No. You gotta go. Damn. Period. Nobody is allowed in the hallway when this man is walking through. Oh, wow. Come on. <laughs> wow. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm not kidding. Come on. Come on. I'm not kidding. It's called Cold Blue. Cold, Cold Blue. Cold Blue. Right? Kelly is moving through the hallway. Oh, Whatever God. room you in, that's the room you in until he moves through that hallway. Oh, you are you I'm joking, son? I'm not kidding. Now, the only time I have ever in my whole entire existence seen this is Michael Jackson. Exactly. When Michael Jackson was in Europe <clears throat> with Criss Cross and Michael Jackson and they pulled black curtains around every it, wherever you was, they yanked the curtain full of black curtain when Mike came through. All right? But Mike used to like to play tricks. He would say he was coming in one place and then he would just walk in like all the way across all the security <laughs> had to run over. It. He just did it for fun for a group. But it's a cold blue. Cold blue. You have to stay where you are. You cannot move. Can't you say cannot. what's up. Rob, no. thanks for having me on the tour. No. Nothing. None of that. None of that. Wow. Now, I'm not trying to stop. Look, I'm not the dude for beef. There's no R&B beef. That that don't exist, okay? Right. Melody, harmony, these are not beef words, okay? These are R&B words. That's not, I'm not trying to start no beef with this man. It ain't nothing like that. Ain't going to be no diss records or nothing crazy like that. Right. I just don't feel that. I, I, don't, I don't feel it was done right, you know? Uh, <clears throat> they're saying that, that, like I said, they're saying that it was it was a uh, contractual. We couldn't reach a fair contractual agreement. But I don't I don't feel that we needed to be. I don't feel that I needed to have my people in there fighting for stuff that I'm supposed to just get. It's like like you a know, dressing room. Yeah, like I mean, like no, your I mean, own separate dressing room, a dressing room for your dancers, and then another dressing room for the band. Yeah, yeah. That's I mean that's fair, especially if there's seven of them in the venue. Wow. There's seven dressing rooms. I can't. I can't get one for real. All right. <laughs> you know. But I mean, we we was willing to deal with all that. We was willing to deal with all that because I wanted to do the show. Right. I wanted to do the show. I knew it was gonna be a good look. We were selling out. You know. I wanted to do the show. Right. So we was willing to deal with that. Wow. You know. And then it probably didn't help matters either that the first few reviews for the show 
people had a lot of very positive things to say about my portion of the show and not as many about his portion of the show. Yeah. Sound like, probably, probably, sound yeah. like the Jay-Z debacle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there was a rumor that uh-huh. y'all had a problem, a dispute over a woman. Over a woman? Yeah, that, that's why you're not on the tour. A dispute over a woman? Yeah, you and R. Kelly were beefing over a woman. What woman? But I didn't see R. Kelly or R. I saw I saw his him. DJ, and I saw uh, his background singers, and that's about it. I ain't seen none of. Wait, well, I saw one or two of his band members in passing. I didn't see this man for the whole time. I mean, like the whole time, like I was on the tour real long. But I didn't <laughs> see this man the whole time I was on the tour. At all. At all. He didn't stop by and say, "Neo, what up?" No. 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 Oh, Blue. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to do that around here. <laughs> Cold Blue at the power. Now come through. What is what? So. You just went through this whole tour thing a couple of years ago. We just went through this with R. Kelly and Jay-Z. Now it's you and R. Kelly. Is it safe to say, in your opinion, that he's the problem or his handlers are the problem? You know what? I don't know. I don't know. Because I never got the opportunity to speak to him face-to-face, man-to-man. You know, everything that, w- everything that was brought to us was brought to us through his people. Right. You know? And I'm looking at it like, okay, um, you are in control of your situation, right? Right. So if your people are coming at us with it, it's got to be coming from you, right? So who who asked you not to be on the tour anymore? His people came to you. Um, the way I think the way it was explained to me is that <clears throat> we heard that we heard that um there was gonna be lineup changes. Oh, oh, right. So my people called in like, yo, okay, what's the lineup change? And I was like, um, the lineup change is y'all ain't gonna show me Wow, that's the lineup that's change. That's the lineup change. Wow. wow, so no, he's never picked up the phone and said, hey, Neo, hey, baby, I how have you, not baby? To this man at all? No, ever, N- ever. Wow. What did Jay-Z say when you told him not on the tour anymore? What did Hov say? I, haven't, I actually haven't spoke to Hov about this whole situation yet. I ain't talked to him yet. No? But I'm I'm, I'm guessing, I'm, I can imagine what he's going to say. After the last Yeah, because he went through the same mess, man. man. Wow. That, that's crazy. So you did how many shows on the tour? I did two shows. Two <laughs> how many were how many were scheduled? Um the tour was supposed to run all the way through January. Oh wow. Yeah. That was Christmas shopping money. Yeah. <laughs> You know, it's cool. It's cool. I'm, so you know, is that I'm a breach? <clears throat> is that a breach for him to come to you and say there's a lineup change? Is that a breach of contract? Well the thing the way that the way that it happens is, okay. His people were supposed to come at us with some insurance information right. about the whole about the whole contract, the whole contract situation. Mm-hmm. Okay, we couldn't sign the contracts until his people got at us with this insurance information. Okay, now this was told to them. Everybody knew what was going on. Second, so y'all get us insurance information. We sign the contracts. We keep it pushing. Okay, right. so in the process of them gathering the insurance information to get to us, I'm promoting the show. I'm, I'm doing shows. They right. paid us for the first two shows. Okay. Right. Because everybody's under the impression that once they get this information to us, contract is signed, we keep it pushing. Right. They never got us the info. Okay. We calling them like, yo, what's going on with what's going on with the insurance info? What's going on? And you already oh, on the tour. We tour out. buses is the out tour there. Tour is moving already. How many people you got out with you? Um, let me see. There's, I got four dancers. I got five band members. Security. Um, my road manager. Right. Personal Stop. assistant. Stylist. No, no, stylist don't roll, but okay. the, ward, the wardrobe lady roll. Okay. Um, yeah, that's that's quite a few people. That's a lot. Quite of a people. few people that I had to pay out of my pocket. I don't, you know, uh, I gave I gave everybody I gave everybody uh, half of the money that they would have got had we continued the tour because oh, these people nice took time out. Come on, man, these people took time from you know being with their families for the holidays and everything to do this tour. Everybody was excited about doing this tour, right. and then this happened. 